let's talk about Sri Lanka. Now, we've been covering Sri Lanka on this show for a couple of months now. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's gotten a lot of coverage. In fact, when we started covering Sri Lanka, people were saying, wow, I can't believe you're covering this, this story. This is a big story. And the mainstream media was largely ignoring this story. This is what happens when you see corrupt politicians stealing money from their own citizenry, um, artificially, like literally taking millions of dollars in rupees and storing it inside the presidential palace, hiding it from the people, driving up gas prices artificially. Um, in the meantime, taking on debt from China, from all to, from private investors, just but mostly allowing, from the United States, from the United States, right, and allowing the country's national debt to increase while there was money being squandered elsewhere. Look at these lines. I mean, these are lines of people in Sri Lanka that have been waiting for petrol, filling up, trying to get, you know, get access to, to, to run their businesses, to run their family, uh, reducing the amount of meals that they have access to. Um, and it re really unbelievable. So, of course, this weekend, um, every and every corrupt world leader should pay attention to what happened in Sri Lanka this weekend as the country now collapses. So the president... Raja Pakse uh, fled the country because of this happening. Uh, when you have thousands upon thousands of citizens saying, we can't eat, we can't get petrol, we can't provide for our families, and we're going to storm the presidential palace. By many accounts, it was over one million people who came by train, bus, you know, however they could get there and actually, you know, stormed, got their way in, uh, you know, there were there was footage of protesters rolling on the president's bed, yeah, uh, jumping on the bed, that kind of thing. It was just we are not going to st stand for this. In fact, many protesters say we are considering this date, July 9th, as our new Independence Day, the day we demanded the end of this administration. And we will not leave until we get it. So here's some video of them in the palace. They're at, and they, yeah, they went into the swimming pool. I mean, you see the tens of thousands of people there. But the, here you are at the presidential palace. Like, we're just going to jump into the pool. We're going to start swimming. We're going to use this. I hope they peed in that pool, by the way. Mm. Um, maybe maybe it looks like it, it doesn't look so clean. But this is his personal pal you know, this is his personal palace. Then, of course, they were rolling in the bed. So they went into the president's bedroom, yeah. uh, lying in the bed. They were lying on the couch in the house, um, swimming. They were take there. They are just taking photos and selfies in the bed. Uh, there they are in the swimming pool. Uh, that's the four purse to bed. Here's on the couch, just like I'm going to take a nap on your couch inside the presidential palace. Uh, and then one of my favorite. Oh, here's a guy. He's in the. I'm going to use your shower, Mr. President. Is he shaving his stomach? I I don't know. How do I? <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> why? How, why would make you make that leap to that? Is he shaving his stomach? I think he's just showering. He's probably got a little soap. Okay. He, you know, he's like, I'm going to use the presidential soap in his, the presidential shower. Um, sure. My, here's my favorite photo. This is one of the most remarkable photos. It shows protesters in the presidential palace lying there watching the protests on the television from the palace. Like they're watching the live reports while they're laying there on the t watching the TV in the palace. Isn't that crazy? You know what strikes me about that photo is you can leave it up a little bit. See if you see what I'm seeing. Well, that guy has a mask on that he's wearing under his chin. Like, why are you bothering with that? You're right. in a protest with millions of people and you've pulled it down. Like, maybe you just don't need to bring your mask. Yeah, maybe the mask isn't like the this. thing. It's like Jerry Seinfeld. Like, if you've got blood in your laundry, yeah. maybe tied, or maybe your laundry isn't the most important thing. What is he, what is the joke? If you, if I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I forget the joke. Does anyone, if everyone remembers the Seinfeld joke from the 1980s, um, because it like tide gets out blood stains. Like oh. if you have a lot of blood stains, then maybe laundry isn't your biggest problem. Or yes. <laughs> you know, maybe the mask isn't your biggest issue. Your country is collapsing. Let like, the Thanks let the for bringing fight. it. It's maybe he's worried that he needed it on public transit still. Yeah. Because some countries still require I don't know. I don't know. But um, so we, we now got word uh, this afternoon that it had been reported and then it was kind of got re retracted. And now it's been reported again that, in fact, the president, Raja Pakse, was caught on camera fleeing on board a Navy vessel. Uh, now we learn the president will resign his office so a new leader can take over. I mean, every corrupt politician around the world should pay attention. And take a look at this video. This is new video this afternoon of protesters storming the central bank of Sri Lanka. 
So it's not just the politicians, it's the bankers, it's the corrupt bankers that for years have, I mean, led this country into bankruptcy, all ruled by nepotism, corruption. Of course, you know, the context here, right? I mean, if you have like the brother, the former, the former president of the country who was, you know, by all accounts, stole millions of dollars from mm -hmm. the government, from the people, um, by the way, so his, his brother when he was president for, I think he was president for like 12 years, correct me if I'm wrong, he stole millions of dollars that were sent to his country for tsunami relief in 2004. Like all these people are like, Sri Lanka, you're, you're crushed under the tsunami. We're going to help you. We're going to send you millions of dollars. So he takes the money. He was caught money laundering, receiving payoffs from foreign, uh, foreign companies with millions. This was all revealed in the Pandora Papers, by the way. The Pandora Papers found several of the president's family members had stolen millions of dollars from the government and hid them in offshore investment accounts. So this, the Pandora Papers, of course, continue to uh, provide all sorts of, uh, uh, of Easter eggs um, about this. But again, this is what happens when corrupt politicians um, steal from the people. Well, yes. Uh, but he, the, the most recent update is that the president actually has to, sub, he can't just announce his resignation. He has to submit it in writing to parliament, which he has not done yet. So protesters are not actually doing a victory lap until they see that happen. Uh, someone in the chat, Marty Reardon says, order out of chaos. And that I think is my biggest question. You hit the nail on the head is, Will they then actually get a better politician? Will this be something that the, that it, through a breakthrough is is that they will get a breakthrough? I I hope so. I mean, look, I think this tweet says a lot here about you know Sri Lanka. I think to, to that order out of chaos point, Sri Lanka went on a money money printing spree and had to witness the music slowing down. Inflation are, and out of control government spending were factors plus the decision to ban chemical fertilizers. Do you think that what happened in Sri Lanka can't happen in your advanced country? And, re, and perhaps order from chaos. I mean, this is exactly what Thomas Jefferson talked about, right? Which is, if a government doesn't serve you, you throw off the shackles of that government and you start a new government. And this government for decades has hurt its people. Um, has has uh, has stolen money from its people. It has artificially uh, driven up, or you know, the the it has driven down the value of their 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 currency. Yes. It has made ridiculous deals with um, with foreign banks and foreign governments like the United States um, and uh, uh, and the UK specifically. Um, and this is what happens when you know when people have had enough. Right. When you pervert an economy for your own good. Right. And you have too much power and none of that is in the interests of the people. Well, you shouldn't be able to hold on to that power. And so this is, uh, it looks to us like a productive uprising, but uh, it's too, it's too soon to say, right? So we can celebrate it, but we really don't know what to celebrate yet. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. You know, we've been banned, we've been blocked, we've been censored. That's why we started our own website to stay connected with you for free. That's right. So head on over to redacted.inc and make sure you're connected with us. You can sign up again at redacted.inc, not .com.